Welcome back to Cool Fluid 101 Tutorials. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to use the Health app and get apps that are compatible with it. First, what you're going to do is you're going to, I'm just going to go into the Health app and show you what, um, so there's nothing, I don't have anything for it. Health, there's nothing in here. So, nothing. So, and then you'll go to Sources. This is just an old app that I never had. I don't know why it's even in there. So in order to find apps that are compatible, what you're going to do is you're going to go to the App Store. You're going to go to the Search. And if you're on an iPad, this will work too. Just go to the Search in the corner. Then you're going to do Health. Uh, oops. Yeah, so tap Health Apps. Health Apps, sorry. Then you will go to browse now. It will take you there. It's loading. And then uh, let's say I want it. There's fitness and wellness, food and nutrition, and healthcare. Um, let's say I want a Nike Plus Fuel. So I double tap this, and then I hit install. I'm not actually going to install the app, but um, I'll show you what will happen if you did. So. Pretend I installed the app, so I installed that. So then I'll go to health, and then I will go to sources down here, and then let's pretend this is the app I just downloaded. If you down if you download the one I just show you, it will say the name of the app probably, or whichever one's first, and then you'll tap on it, and then there'll be a little slider right here that says um, allow data, and it should be on by default, but that's what you and that's pretty much how you do it and then to add, I think I don't know what the app is for but let's just say it's for um nutrition so you go to nutrition and it'll say fiber and then you could sh say flip the switch that says says show on da dashboard it says no data because I don't have any apps that are using it but if you get an apple iwatch the um a it has a lot of this it has body measurements and it has vitals and it has a lot of this stuff and so it can be a pretty cool and powerful app so that's how you do it thank you for using coolfoot 101 tutorials and join me next time